question I often see in the Smash community is why Young Link and Toon Link aren't considered Echo Fighters of one another. So today I'm going to explore some of the differences between these two Links. This is going to be more focused on gameplay differences since that's truly what matters when playing a character. First, let's take a look at their running speed. At first glance, it looks to be the same, but if I slow the clip down, you can see Toon Link is actually just a teensy bit faster than Young Link. Next, their jump height. This looks to be just about identical, although it is worth noting that Toon Link is a bit floatier than Young Link, as it takes him longer to reach the ground after his jumps. I also tested using the hook shot to grab the ledge from far distances, and this also seems to be identical. Both of them also have wall jumps. Now, let's cover their attacks. Also, for testing purposes, I set the CPU to 50%. First up is their neutral attack. This is where we start seeing bigger differences. In this case, Young Link can perform a flurry attack with his sword, which isn't an option at all with Toon Link. In fact, Young Link is the only Link in Ultimate who can do this neutral flurry attack. I then tested their forward tilt, but couldn't find any big difference. Their down tilt, however, while being the same style of attack, is a little different between both characters. Young Link's down tilt launches the opponent upward, but in Toon Link's case, the opponent is launched backwards. This makes it a bit more difficult to perform follow-up attacks, whereas Young Link's offers a nice setup for follow-ups. Moving on to their up tilt, there's again nothing noteworthy to mention. So let's look at their dash attacks. The attacks, while having different animations, are still very similar, but the attacks themselves do behave a little differently. Young Link's launches the opponent backward and has a good amount of knockback. Toon Link's, however, launches the opponent more upward and has noticeably weaker knockback. Now let's look at their smash attacks. Their forward smash attacks are different moves altogether. Young Link's is a two-part attack, and you'll have to land the second part of this move to get that beefy knockback. Toon Link's is just one quick slice forward. Their down smash attacks, however, are just about the same. So on to their up smash. This is another case of having completely different moves. Young Link's is a three-part attack this time, with the final hit dealing the high knockback. And Toon Link's, once again, is just one quick slice. That's it for smash attacks, so let's compare their air attacks now. And there are quite a lot of differences here. First, their neutral air. These are totally different moves, with Young Link's being just your standard air kick, while Toon Link swings his sword both in front and behind him. His front swing is definitely stronger than his back. Whereas with Young Link, you'll want to time the attack in close proximity with your opponent to get the largest amount of knockback. Their forward airs are also completely different. Young Link does two sword swings in front, and Toon Link only does one. You'll want to connect with the second hit on Young Link's forward air, as the first hit really doesn't have much knockback at all. Their back air is once again very different. Young Link kicks twice behind him, and much like his forward air, the second kick is what offers the knockback you want. But with Toon Link, he does a single sword slice behind him. Onto their down air now, which is, once again, pretty different. They may both be downward sword thrusts, but the way they operate isn't similar at all. With Young Link, you have more horizontal control over the move, meaning you can move Link forward or backward while falling. With Toon Link's though, he immediately starts traveling directly below him. Toon Link's travels faster, which can be nice, but you're losing that control Young Link has. This attack with Toon Link also has a meteor effect towards the beginning of the thrust, which Young Link doesn't have at all. Lastly, they're up air, which are just about the same overall, aside from a very slight difference in attack speed, which you might be able to tell when I really slow the clip down. Now that's out of the way, let's examine their special moves. For their neutral specials, both use the bow and arrow, but there are some distinct differences here. The first obvious difference is Young Link uses fire arrows, while Toon Link just has normal arrows. Young Link also has a slightly quicker charge up time than Toon Link. The travel speed of Young Link's arrows is also faster than Toon Link. However, Toon Link's arrows do travel a bit farther than Young Link's. The knockback of their arrows are also different. Young Link's launches the opponent upward, whereas Toon Link simply pushes the opponent backward. The forward special for both characters is the boomerang, and they're almost the same, except for Toon Link's boomerang traveling just a little bit farther before returning. They also share similar down specials, which is of course the bomb, meaning there's probably some Dodongos nearby. Great! I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! But there are just a couple differences. 
First, the fuse on Toon Link's bomb lasts a little longer than Young Link's, meaning it'll take longer before the bomb blows up on its own. Second, if you throw the bomb while standing still, Young Link's bomb will land on the ground and blow up after the fuse runs out. But in this same situation, Toon Link's bomb always blows up. Young Link's bomb also hits with a combo of four for some reason, while Toon Link's is just a single blow. Their up specials once again are incredibly similar attacks, but their properties are a little different. Young Link's grounded attack launches the opponent upward, with Toon Link's launching the opponent more horizontally and also having more significant knockback. As far as their grabs and throws go, there aren't a ton of differences. The biggest change I could find is that Toon Link's back throw is noticeably stronger than Young Link's. I set the CPU's percentage to 150, and I couldn't get any of Young Link's throws to kill, but Toon Link didn't have any issue getting a KO with his back throw. Finally, there's the final smash. And unfortunately, their final smashes are pretty much identical. It's definitely a missed opportunity for Majora's Mask and Wind Waker references, but eh, what you gonna do? Overall, Young Link and Toon Link do have quite a few differences. Enough to justify being their own characters, I think, and definitely enough to not be considered Echoes. I know there are even more differences I didn't cover here, like actual damage, percentage of attacks, and things like that, but I really just wanted to cover the basics of what makes a character feel different to play. So what do you think? Do you think they're different enough? Do you like Young Link or Toon Link more? I'm currently not sure if I'll do more of these videos, but if it seems like people enjoy it, then I'd certainly be down for covering other similar characters like Mario and Dr. Mario, or Pichu and Pikachu, you get the idea. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again soon. Catch you later.